Hello, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be just like a good old fashioned favorites. Things that have been giving it to me, making my life easier, just amazing product. That's it, you know, we're just gonna sit here, have our cafecito and talk about some things, some discoveries, new discoveries, maybe not so new product that I just discovered for the first time, just some stuff. Huge shout out to Naywai for sponsoring a portion of this video. I'm about to show you guys all the stuff that I have been loving from them. And I promise you, you're gonna be like, yes. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and kick it off with our Naywai products. Okay, here's the tea. I hate wearing bras. Is that really tea? Probably not. Since having Ocean, I haven't really gone to get new bra sizes only because I have been continuously changing boob size. It took a long time for my boobs to finally get to a size that I think is closest to my pre-pregnancy boob size. I mean, they were ginormous. I look at my belly cast and I'm shook at how big they were and how much they expanded. My old bras still don't truly fit me, but they're kind of kind of there just super uncomfortable that's where nay comes in so these are the barely zero bras by nay and they're just not like a traditional bra these have no wires they're just so comfortable they don't feel like they're pushing and squeezing all on your body they move with your body they grow with your body the tones of the bras first of all are just all of my color tones. They have such nice nudes, chocolatey colors, so comfortable. One of the most comfortable bras, doesn't feel like you're wearing a bra, has no wires, but still has good support. Like your boobs still get a nice shape. When I wear this, I feel like I'm not wearing a bra. It works so well under almost all my clothing. These days I wear a lot of t-shirts, a lot of loungewear. I mean, I think everyone's kind of been in the loungewear vibes lately, but these just feel so great under all of that. Doesn't give your boobs any weird shape. Super, super comfortable. I love this tone. This one is more of a tank top. Again, it just moves with your body. This grows with you as well, which that's pretty much why I really, really love them. Because like I said, my cup size is ever changing right now. And this just works well with all the phases of the change. And I feel like, you know, in the future, and I'm not pregnant yet, but in the future, when I get pregnant again, I feel like these will grow with me as well because they're just so stretchy and cozy. These are bras that you live in. They are your everyday amazing bra. I also have a bralette. For the days that I want a more slinky, like I have a more slinky low cut top, I'll wear this bra right here. This one had padding that I, I took out, I did, because I like a more um, super, super slinky vibe with this kind of bralette. They also have really great calzones underwear. These are the Barely Zero underwear. Just good for a good lounge sweat pant moment. I overall just love the whole vibe of this brand. It's made to fit everyone. They really focus on sustainability with their packaging. Their material is really high quality. Their price point is super expensive. It's a good price point. It really feels like it was made to tailor women as far as comfort and not just looks. You know, like it still looks great under your clothing. They're still very cozy, but it's super comfortable. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here for a comfortable time. I'm gonna go ahead and link them in the description box. So make sure you guys check them out. I also have a discount code for 20% off Desi if you want to purchase these. So I will also leave all of that in the description box as well. So now we're getting into like cozy weather and that for me means not much different from what I've been wearing all summer, which is sweatpants. Even when it's hot, like I just love to be cozy. But for anyone who is looking for a really good sweatsuit, this is one of my faves. So these are the matching set sweatsuits from um, 30 years. And this color in particular, I really love, but they have just all the good neutral tones, a really good bone color. And the fit of these is really nice. The material's really great. It's super comfortable and cozy. I've seen some people um, style these with like really cute coats over top and some sneakers and a little baseball cap. Just so cute, so cute. I like to size up in my sweatpants. So the size that I wear in 30 years, a lot of people ask, I usually get large. I love 
an oversized and that's with all my sweats I always get a size large in women's and then I will get like a medium and men's stuff Don't get it twisted. I will wear Stevens large men's stuff as well depending on how I'm feeling But yeah, I always size up. I like that huge baggy fit. Obviously you guys know whew, Postpartum hair loss is real. I always say this when I have my hair up like this I probably shouldn't have my hair up like this But I get so desperate doing my hair because my hair stick out and I feel like in order for me to do a down hairstyle Just takes a lot of work and a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time So slicking it back is so much easier for me Even though I shouldn't I try not to but here we are desperate times. So this hairspray is from Kerastase It's the fixation extra stronghold hairspray Kerastas. And this works really, really well without getting super flaky. I also really love the got to be, but got to be, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this isn't super good to put in your hair all the time. So I try not to. This is like when your hair is at a phase where you need to say a prayer for it to stay down. That's when you use got to be. But for regular hairspray, really strong hold for any slick back hair look, this works so well. And I find that it's easy to brush through. So it holds really well. It doesn't get super flaky on me and it's easy to brush through. Just really good hairspray. I randomly tried it and I'm obsessed with this for any slicked back looks. This next product, drink my little coffee. I saw TikTok where they were talking about, Michaela was saying, oh, can we gatekeep a product? That's kind of how I feel about this product, but because I don't want it to sell out, but I'm also like, I know a lot of you are struggling with hair loss. At least that's what I see in my DMs. Whether you're a mom, whether COVID has affected your hair. I know a lot of people have said that they've been losing their hair due to COVID. It's really emotional having hair loss issues. It just can take a toll on somebody. A friend of mine recommended this to me. It's called Grow Gorgeous Hair Density Serum for Fine Thinning Hair. I went on a whim and I was like, okay, well she recommended it to me, I'm gonna buy it. So I bought it and my hair has been growing back really fast. Like my baby hairs that, were, that are growing back are probably about this long, which for me is crazy because I'm a very slow hair grower. And let me tell you, in my head I was like, is this the serum or is, just, is this just the way my hair is growing back after postpartum, I don't know, hard to tell. So a friend of mine, she was like, hey, are you using something for your hair? What's going on? Mind you, she has very thinning hair. She's had thinning hair for a really long time. It's always been something she was like telling me about, insecure about, and I said, listen, I'm using this oil. Couldn't tell you for sure if that's what's working or if my hair is just naturally growing back like this. It's kind of hard to tell as I've never lost hair like this in my life. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it and try it. And when I tell you guys, that she came in after two months and she showed me her hair and she has all this new hair growth. So I've basically been recommending this to everyone at this point now. It's just the best. I really hope it doesn't like crazy sell out. I need more, this is all I have left. Well, I mean, this is, seems like a lot, but really no. Cause I put like 10 drops of this in my hair and then I use the HERS. This is like a scalp massager. I use this after and I just massage that into my scalp after I shower and that's it. It doesn't make your hair oily, greasy, so you can go ahead and style your hair normal. And that was a huge thing for me because I hate products that make my hair greasy just because styling my hair is a lot of work. I don't have hair that just dries beautifully. Like I have to blow it out and I don't want any products in there that's gonna make it look or change the texture of my blowout. So it doesn't do that. I really love it. And there you guys go if anyone's struggling with it. Try it, tell me how it works for you. I'm very excited with how it works on a friend of mine and my other friends are trying it now. So we're kind of just like tracking their hair as well. So we'll see. All right, so the next product, well, this is a product right here that is, I don't think they sell anymore, but I will give you two other options of products that are very, very similar. This is the Bobbi Brown All Over Glow and this stuff is so good. Like they really just need to have kept it in their collections. Why do all the good things get discontinued? You know, so this stuff is amazing. I have it on my skin right now. So I'm not wearing foundation at the moment. I have blush and this, if you can see, is so beautiful, especially when you wear your hair up. When you wear your hair up, you don't have any flyaways. This is the stuff you want to use. I don't like to use it when my hair is down because it's, it's not sticky, but it's just, it doesn't dry down. But the most amazing glow, not super glittery, just looks luminous your skin looks juicy 
see. And so there are two products that I have recently discovered now that have the same effect. So first we have the Vive Skin Dew. Vive is Jamie Genevieve's brand, love her so much. She understood the assignment with this product pretty much just like that, you just kinda and it gives you that beautiful glow. Another product, similar situation, both of these. This is the Refi, and I'll put it in the description box so you guys can click the link for that. They have different undertones, these two products. So the Vive is a little bit more of a champagne gold, which I love, and then the Refi one has a little bit more of a bronzy undertone to it. And then the Bobbi Brown one is like, if both of those had a baby. So the only difference truly is the tone of the highlights. You have a deeper, more tan skin. I would go with the Refi and then the um, Vive if you have lighter skin. So I just love the way this looks. I love that it's not super glittery. I love that it just makes you feel like a juicy peach, scrumptious. These are great. So our next product is this blush from NARS. I'm such a huge fan of NARS's blushers. I have used the heck out of these NARS blushes, these two right here. This is in Luster and this one is in Torrid and it's their liquid blush. I'm basically empty on these. So if you're looking for a liquid blush, blush, I love these, but that's not the favorite of this video because I've talked about those. They've been in my arsenal of favorites for a long time. So this is the Darling Air Matte Blush. These NARS liquid blushes have a little bit more of, I don't wanna say oily, but an oily base. It's more luminous, um, just overall more, it's a thinner formula. This is more of like that Air Matte Mousse, so it's not gonna be super uh, luminous if you want more of a matte look, which I think a lot of people that want to um, hide pores, things like that would prefer using a more you know matte blush and then adding glow where they want it. So that is, this is the product for you. I just love this, especially without foundation. I love, or like a tinted moisturizer or something like that. That's typically how I use it. I use it with a no foundation look. I feel like it lays over the skin super nice and natural and it just looks flushed. It's easy to blend out. It's easy to pop on. This color in particular is Darling and I just love it because it's that perfect pink. Perfect little pink shade. I run it across my whole face. I go ham with this stuff. It's just easy. Everything I do now I feel like has to be easy because Oceana, ocean. It's not that I can't even do it, it's that my time these days I feel is so valuable and I wanna spend as much of it with him as I possibly can. I try to find a balance between things that are going to be quick but still make me feel good about myself, like still make me feel like I'm getting ready, but also not really finicky not hard to do. So a lot of these products kind of fall in line with that, the bras included, because I need to be comfortable all day long. The next product we're gonna talk about is this brow pencil. You know what, I just realized that a lot of these products are by content creators like myself who have started brands and I'm so freaking proud to see, to see that and also amazing products. This brow pencil, this brow pencil, it's so good. This is the Infinity Brows Sketch and Sculpt by Linda Hallberg. I love her. You guys need to follow her. She is such an artist and she has so many different makeup looks. I always get a lot of inspiration from her page and she's just so good. I love her. So she launched her brand a, a while back and when I first tried these brow pencils, this is one of those products that I told all my friends about as well. This is in the shade Almost Black and it's what's on my brows right now. It's a beautiful pencil that has enough pigment but it isn't super waxy. I find a lot of brow pencils that are really waxy don't work well with oily skin, like they break up. This is a really nice pencil because to me, I feel like it gives more of a powder look but with the pigment of a regular pencil and I use it with the lightest hand. That is the trick putting on your brows with a really light hand and building up the pigment. That way you don't get that wax buildup, but, and this makes it super easy. So this has a pencil on one side and then it has a really great brow pen 
on the other side. She has amazing brows, so she really, you can tell that this is made by somebody who is obsessed with brows. Everything about it is great. The colors, the shades of everything are nice. This brow pen, really great. Just the right amount of pigment for natural flicks, easy to use. I think it's a really great product. If you haven't tried this, you need to try it. And the next thing is kind of a tiny little product, but I get so many questions about my lip combo and I've shared my like one of my favorite lip combos with you guys in the past. I am such a fan of NYX, these um, soft matte lip creams. I feel like you already know this. I, this is one of those products that has been in my favorites for years now. This is the Abu Dhabi shade, which is what I'm wearing right now. And if I ever wanna add a little bit more nude, the London shade is so good too. So if you're looking for a really good nude, London by them is amazing. And this has been the lip liner that I've been using. It's by Pat McGrath and this is in the shade. I feel like every time I try to find the shade of this, I'm like, where is it? I haven't slept in the last few days. So I'll, I'll link it in the description box. Don't you worry, I will link it, it's all good. It's just a great lip liner, every day, pop it on, easy to use, boom. Ocean's been having, his teeth are really coming all at once, I think. Um, he hasn't really had teeth this whole time. And then this last couple weeks, his first tooth came up and I'm so excited because I was like, when is his teeth gonna come in? Now I'm wishing that it wasn't happening because I think they're all coming out or he's, I can see some of them popping in and he has not been sleeping, my poor little, little baby. And so Steven and I have been up multiple nights this week and today I really thought I was losing my mind. I was like, I need to sleep. My brain's a little foggy right now. Just putting that out there. If anyone has any tips, I don't think there is many tips. I think it's just something that he's gonna go through and we have to just deal with it. But let me know. Support anything in the comments. Let me know. Teething phase is really, it's really getting to us with the sleep situation. So another item I've really been loving and I think is so beautiful. I actually also have this on my eyes as my eyeliner right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's a dual ended liner duo, the Super Nudes Liner Duo Enhance Magnifier. And I feel like that's exactly what this does. I love that it's a two for one situation. The nude pencil on one side is so great to neutralize your waterline, which I did apply that. If you're tired, this is gonna make your eyes look like Bambi. Like you're awake, you're alert, you are here. And you know, if you want a really good sultry brown liner, this one is so nice. I was really nervous to put makeup on today because I have this is my first time since doing LASIK that I've put any eye makeup on, but it all went well, so it's good. By the way, LASIK was incredible, amazing. I have a video of how amazing it is. Can't believe it, I can actually see. I don't feel like I need to talk about these brushes. These are the makeup by, oh my God, there is a, such a nasty eyelash stuck to my brush. I am such a cochina, okay? This is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ariel, I'm sorry. But I don't think I need to talk about these brushes very much because they're just everywhere on the internet already. And I feel like everyone got them with a the quickness. And the reason why is because, first of all, I know Ariel, he's a friend of mine, he is a perfectionist and I know he will not put anything out unless it is 100% exactly what he likes to use, how he likes to use it. I just, uh, I just believe in him so much because of his character and how amazing he is with logistics of the way things need to work, um, formulas, and just, oh my God, the day he creates his own makeup line will be the day that I will say, I love everything from this makeup line. Cause I just feel like he's that type of person. Like, you know, some brands you don't love everything from their line, which is totally normal, but I feel like his, I will love everything because his brain just works differently and it's amazing. Anyways, he worked so hard to make these perfect and they're just beautiful. Every single brush is amazing. If you are looking to get someone a gift, get these brushes for them because what girl isn't looking for a nice set of brushes to do their makeup? All of them are amazing. The whole set is beautiful. The face brushes are incredible. The foundation is one of my favorite brushes. All of them are amazing. Like every single one gets used. And I found that to be honest, I pretty much have been only gravitating towards those brushes as of recent. So that is in my favorites as well. Then lastly, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, I, but I'm going to. My Desi Claro Que si Vitamin C Glow Serum and my Do Me Over Skin Mist. It, it's funny because I try not to talk about my brand as much because I don't want to feel like I'm like, oh my God, buy my brand, buy my brand, things like that. But if this were another company's product, I would be just like raving about it. 
if that makes any sense. I just don't want to feel like I'm like, but I feel like I don't know if I've truly ever given it the love that it deserves because of that feeling and I don't want to be that way. I'm like, I'm really proud of these products. This vitamin C glow serum seriously changed my life. Like my skin has never been better than it is now. This is a very strong product. I've said before, like make sure that you patch test before using it everywhere because it is, it has a lot of actives, it's very strong, but that's why it's so amazing. I wanted to make sure that this truly got rid of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and just did what it needed to do. So it is very strong, works wonders. Like I have gotten so many amazing before and afters of using this product and I'll put a couple in here so you guys can see some of them. I need to put them in the highlights on our page because nothing makes me happier than seeing that. So this has just been amazing. And then our Do Me Over Glow Mist is just amazing. And a couple things I will say about this product is it is powered by oxygen. So if you do have this, do not shake it. Do not put it upside down because it will release the oxygen and that's what propels the continuous mist. This stuff has this beautiful finish that almost feels like it seals the skin but still keeps it luminous so what i've been doing as of you know recent a lot is you know that look that you get under your under eyes at the end of the day or like midday when it's powder it's creasing it kind of feels a little crepey a little tired i will spray a beauty blender with this mist and then lightly dab over all the areas that feel like they look kind of dry and it revitalizes and makes it look fresh and beautiful and just hydrated again. And that has been my hack all day, every day. That is what I've been doing. So I just wanted to put that out there. Amazing, amazing, and for sure been one of my favorites, of course, that goes without saying. And then lastly, let's talk about my Netflix shows that I've been watching. So if you have not seen The Maid, you need to watch it. It is so unbelievably good heart-wrenching. It is about a mom who is in an abusive relationship and she escapes that, but she has a daughter and it's like her whole journey starting over in life basically by leaving this person. It's very real. It's very difficult to watch at times, especially if you're a mom because it just makes you feel for anyone who's going through that. I cried a few times. I was, ugh. But it's really good. It's not all sad. It's just it's a really nice journey series to watch. So really recommend that. And then my other one, again, do I really need to say Squid Games? Everybody's been watching Squid Games, but it is so good. I couldn't stop watching it. I was glued to Netflix watching Squid Games. And that again is about, which I don't, I feel like I don't need to tell you guys this, but I'm just gonna say it to be thorough. So this is about uh, people who are down and out and they are desperate, they are in debt and they are sought out to participate in a game where if they participate, they get a lot of money if they end up being the winner. I don't wanna to say too much about the game, but it is pretty crazy and intense. And a reason, the reason why I think this show is so good because it's almost like Handmaid's Tale vibes where not at all like that show, but in the sense of you feel like this could be something that's going on in real life or could happen and that's what makes it terrifying. I don't know, like the world is messed up and I feel like maybe in some part of the world some underground crazy shit is happening like that and it freaked me out that's what made it good is that it almost felt believable I don't know does anyone else feel that way like it's really it's a good show watch that if you haven't. So those are my two Netflix recommendations. That's it for my roundup of favorites. Let me know if you guys have any products that you have been loving. Maybe it's like your gatekeeping product that you haven't shared, but you know is really good. Maybe you wanna share that in the comments. Any shows you've been watching, movies, things like that. Um, I find that now I'm finding all my shows to watch on TikTok, like there'll be people who specifically talk about, you need to watch this show, you need to watch this movie, and then I put it in my notes like, yes. I'm gonna watch that. So let me know what you guys have been watching. I will link everything in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.